Something that I didn't know about until fairly recently is that the Sega Dreamcast had DLC, and good DLC, not just a bunch of crappy avatars. At the moment, there are 32 games that have DLC, with more DLC still being discovered, and DLC that went previously unreleased, but the developers have been kind enough to release it for the community, which is awesome. Now, I'm just going to give a brief idea of what's on offer here, because I don't want to spoil the discovery. So we've got additional characters for games like Dynamite Cop, Giga Wing, and Virtualon. We've got additional items for the RPGs. We've got extra cars, tracks, and events for the racing games. And we've got some VMU mini games, including a text adventure for Soul Calibur, which is super weird. And honestly, that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to all the weird and wonderful stuff that's on offer here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get all of this set up so you can use this DLC in Flycast and RetroArch. On original hardware and with emulators, you have the choice to connect to dreamcastlife.net and download the DLC directly from there. However, that is a bit of faffing about and there's an even easier way. So step one, we want to grab the VMU editor and that's on the Sega Retro website and I'll put a link for this in the description below. Step two, grab your DLC from this website here, but make sure that you grab the VMI file for whichever region that you're using and the VMS file. And when you download both of those, make sure you put them side by side in the same folder, otherwise you're gonna get the infamous error 10 message. Step three, you want to create the VMU save file for the game that you want to use DLC for. So just start the game that you want to use. In this example, I'm just gonna use Dynamite Cop. So just start the game how you normally would. And as soon as the game starts, you want to go into the quick menu and then go down to core options. There we go. And then go down to visual memory unit. And you want to make sure that this setting here at the top is set to VMU A1. And you want to do this for two reasons. It's easier to organize and identify your save states. And all of the DLC is not going to fit on one shared VMU across all of your games. So what this setting does is create an individual virtual memory unit for that specific game. So you want to make sure that this is active and then go back to the game. And then we're just going to fast forward all this. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. So we're going to use port 1A here. There we go, memory card registration complete. And there we go. And now that VMU save state has been created for this game specifically. Step four, obviously exit out the game and extract the VMU Explorer, open up the folder and start the EXE. It's gonna present you with a navigation box upon startup and it's basically asking us to find the VMU save state that we've just created. So if you go into the RetroArch file system, go into the saves folder and it's either going to be in one of two folders. It's going to be in a folder called Sega Dreamcast or in a folder called Flycast. For me, it's in a Dreamcast folder and we can see the Dynamite Cop A1 bin there. I'm just going to open that up. Then we're just going to go up to File, Import File, and now we're going to find our DLC. So that's right there for me. And then we've got the VMI file. Open that up. Go up to File again. Press save VM, press yes, and then just exit out. And it will always ask this upon exit, just press yes, and boom, you've got your DLC all in your VMU. Step five here is to manually integrate the DLC into the game. And this step isn't necessary for all titles because some games just automatically integrate it. But for Dynamite Cop here, it needs manually doing. So I'm just gonna start the game. And I'm obviously gonna make sure that I load up the memory card one slot. There we go. Wait for the game to start. And for this one, we need to go into the other tab. And then we should have an option for use detonator pack. So we're gonna select that. Obviously we're gonna press yes. There we go, finished. And now we have all of the DLC for this game, which is an additional character and an extra gun. But for some games, there is some unlock criteria. I think to unlock the additional character for this game, you need to complete the game at least once. So you might need to double check the DLC for your specific game just to make sure that you're getting the most out of it. 
Do keep in mind that not all of this DLC is usable at the same time or stackable, and a good example of this is Sonic Adventure and its event DLCs. You can only use one of these at a time because it just loads it in automatically. There's no menu to select it. There we go, that's how to use Dreamcast DLC with Flycast and Retroarch. Now if you want to keep up to date with these videos that explore the more obscure side of emulation, you know what to do. And if you liked today's video, slam me a thumbs up. And apart from that, go play some games. Adios.